I had Sam and Sharon and Mr. and Mrs. Sprinter come in this week to try their vans on for size. They loved them. The beauty of the cardboard build, as detailed as I make them, is that the owners can come in and literally walk through, test, fit, see, and feel their van at the idea stage. This is where the tweaks, the slight alterations, and the big changes can be made without causing any angst or heartache at the bank. How about this, huh? Okay, this is a prototype, okay? This is generation one, right out of the design shop into the van. Had a couple of objectives with this table. Originally, I wasn't sure how I was gonna get this thing moving, but what I did know is that I wanted it to move without disturbing the food that is on top of the table. If you had to get up, got the table set with your dinner and you forgot something, you gotta get up and get it. I don't want you to disturb the table. I'll show you. See, table set. My dinner guest is across the way and I forgot the salt. I can move this out of the way. I can get up and get the salt and come right back without disturbing anything. If my dinner guest has to get up because they forgot something, Plenty of room, no worries. And then we come back to center. Uh, this is the way I wanted this to perform. Now, right now it's janky because this is a prototype, but in the final version, it's gonna be a nice smooth linear motion back and forth, like drawer glides, but not drawer glides. The design stage of the build is one of my favorite parts. You have a general idea of what you want, but trial and error and their flighty sister serendipity are the real heroes of innovation. If you follow closely, you will see that even this approach has been changed. Let me show you the guts of this operation. Now, this being the prototype, I made it out of inch and a half 80-20 because that's what I had in these particular lengths. I didn't wanna start cutting up real nice lengths of 80-20. Uh, it's too costly when you're in the design phase. Uh, so the final version of this is going to be constructed out of the series 10, which is one inch. This is the inch and a half stuff. This is like a forklift for crying out loud. We don't need this much here. It's overkill. I can't believe I just said that. So my objectives, as you saw, I wanted a nice smooth linear motion where you could move the table and get out of your seat on either side without disturbing what was on the table, without disturbing your dinner guests. The other situation in this dinette area is mostly when traveling, we need to put a board down here to bridge this gap between the two benches, pull the cushions down and make a day bed for the dog. Uh, so originally I thought, okay, we'll have a dinner table here. Then we take that out and then we got a board we put in here and bridge the gap. This is not a new idea, but uh, I decided it was time to make this double duty. So now this, will drop down with the table in place and it bridges the gap. Yes, I'll have cleats on the top of this table, uh, but right now I've got stops, adjustable stops in place. So this goes down to a certain point, it lines up with the benches and the cushions come across. Um, in the final version, because the dog is 100 pounds plus, I'm gonna have these, these tabs here. When you bring this down, instead of hitting the stops, those legs will be lengthened so they hit the ground. So all of that weight is transferred directly to the floor of the van. Uh, rather than hitting those stops each time, you could throw them out of sync. I'm gonna get true um, uh, transfer of weight if I just take it right down to the floor. So I still have to work on how am I gonna get this thing up and down? Is it assisted? How am I gonna lock it in place? It's gotta be easy to do. Uh, but I think I'm off to a heck of a start. This is going to work very well. It's very simple. There's nothing uh, ostentatious about it. Right now, it's only sitting here with two screws on a piece of pine. And it's very sturdy. It's freestanding. So when this gets locked down, it's going to be nice. 
Now, let me show you what I got going on with these wall cabinets over the bed. I'm in the back now, okay? I'm in the bedroom. I took all the I-beams away. I took the platforms away so that I could show you what's going on here. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sprinter are going to be sleeping north-south with their heads down this end, feet in the middle. And I did not want to give them typical wall cabinets that just intrude on their personal space. You know, they're laying in the bed and these things are, there's corners, there's edges, dangerous, no good. You would never have that in the plaza. So I had this idea to take these cabinets and taper them so that they're narrower down here and then they come up towards the center. I still have room for my fan or my air conditioner and it just, it maintains a feeling of openness and space and it gives them a lot of storage at the same time for their clothing. So these are gonna hinge down uh, from the ceiling, right? They both do it, they can get dressed at the same time, one on each side, it's a lot of fun. It's like the movies and they go right back up. So, uh, it's working. I was concerned that when I put it up, all the clothes were going to fall down into this, this bottom portion, but they don't. I've got a high stop back here. So when this does close, they're supported in like a vortex. Uh, in the uh, final rendition, because this is just the first generation, this is prototype. I think I'm going to square off this bottom. And that will give me this, this space here, either for roller shades with a valance, uh, another little shelf to roll up and put your window covers in. Right now, I've got this hinged at that rear cleat, and it's nice. It gives it a natural stop at a perfect angle for you to see what's in here. Uh, if I was to level this off, then I'm going to hinge it out here and then we'll create some kind of stop for it. But right now, this is working really well. We'll see if Mr. and Mrs. Sprinter like it. Some people talked about flipping up this. And I don't want you to have to unset the table. Uh, let, me exp let me show you what I'm talking da, 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 Do it again. That was awful. This is really becoming very difficult without any preparation. Uh, this is actually a piece of PVC sheet. I rounded the corners, so that's going to make a lot of you very happy. And let me show you what I'm talking about with this table. Good, good. Okay, I'm over here now. I'm over here now. I was over there, now I'm over here. There's no way we have a problem with this table. It slides without having to cause a problem with, do it again, you don't know what you're saying. There were some other objectives with this table. Let me show you what this design is all about. Do that again. Let's do that one again. So, design objectives. As you saw, I wanted that table to run smooth. It's gonna run in these tracks and it's gonna be very smooth. The table I had in position just a, a minute ago, uh, it was a temporary uh, motion. <laughs> All right, let's start again. Now, let me show you the guts of this operation. That was a good one. The guts of this operation. Still rolling. <laughs> 